Nice. Nice. Wow. Hell yeah. All right, ladies and gents, in today's adventure, we're heading on out to the mud hole on a Tuesday. And not just any Tuesday, a Tuesday in the rain. <laughs> so grab your rain gear and let's see how we do. A little big one right over there just jumped. <laughs> there you go. He hit that white hologram, hit it twice. A little tap and then he hammered it. Oh no, I don't I don't net them when they're when when they're, Yeah. <laughs> go got him on that white hologram all right show you the rig i cut the last one on standard double drop shot i've probably got got looks like near two feet between each hook so it's a little bit longer than normal about an eight inch uh distance between the bottom hook and the uh, weight and got about an eighth ounce uh weight on there and i'm casting it way out there that one just happened to hit up close but i'm getting a bit uh out further so uh maybe they're coming in closer now so See when we get some milk. Oh, nice one. Corn yellow? Yep. <laughs> nice size one. Yeah, get the net for you. Yeah, I can net them for you, bro. I was even going to tell you I'm going to put on the corn because you said he works. <laughs> there you go. Nice looking fish. Oh, you're coming right on. Thank you, sir. Sure. Look at that no skunk and corn yellow. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the advice. Sure. Junkie bro.
Change out that bait and instant hook up. Yep. There you go. One, huh? Yep. That devil's putty every time. 70% of the time it works every time. <laughs> I don't even have my grippers there. Yeah, I think I have some in my my junk pouch here. Yeah, I got them here. I got grippers right here, dude. Sir? Mm -hmm. I haven't got a, a hook remover deal. Chingadera. I got, I got one too. All right. You know, I think it was. I think he got uh, he got wrapped up in it. That corn yellow. Nah. go good looking little fish let's get smoke all right guys show you the rig i cut the last one on got my quarter ounce eight singer a carolina keeper about a probably about a 16 18 inch leader down to a number uh 14 mosquito hook and just a little bit of the uh corn yellow uh power bait on there so see if we can get some milk <laughs> On the big stick. Yeah. I mean, it's not a toad or anything. I'm just, it's on a mini jig, so <laughs> you can net it. So I always fish to the end because they just may start biting again. I'll bring them over to you. I could sneak him in there. Oh, yeah. Water's nice and cold. There we go. There we go. Big stroke right in his mouth. See when we get smoke.
Yeah, I saw him heading that way and I threw it out in front of him and sure should he hit it. Now do me a favor, you throw a rock at those pelicans. You don't have a line in the water over there, do you? Uh, I do. Shallow. Yeah, I can't believe he hit it. He was acting so skittish all the other times he was nearby. Yeah, I just felt the bite and I'm like, all right, I got one. And then he, he surfaced and oh my God, it's a big lightning. <laughs> well, if I can get him, this will be my PB lightning for sure. I haven't caught very many big lightnings. Yeah, he just won't quit. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take off again. Nice. Nice. Wow. Hell yeah. Awesome job. That's a tank, son. God, you better keep that. Yeah, you can see freaking uh, big stick right in his lip right there. Make you hold that. Oh. Damn, bit the shoot out of that hook. <laughs> Bent it? Yeah. Say in seven, 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 one. Wow. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Thanks, bro. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, good day at the mud hole. Even though it was cold and wet, it was still a lot of fun. Uh, still got into some fish. Um, in the morning, uh, fish were biting, but they were doing a lot of short biting, especially on the, uh, the drop shot. I was getting a lot of short hits. Uh, it took me a while before I connected with that one. Uh, I hooked up on one and lost it for a second, and then I connected on uh, the one you saw in the video and uh, got it all the way in. Uh, and then I really started realizing how the bite was going. But about the time I started to figure it out, uh, they shut down for a while. <laughs> So I uh, just kept on the grind. Uh, my buddy John uh, switched over to some, uh, some corn yellow power bait. As you saw, I kept it in close and uh, uh, started hooking up there. Then I got into one uh, and then switched back to the mini jigs and uh, uh, towards the end of the day and uh, got one uh, interested. They started turning back on about three o'clock. And then uh, as you saw that, uh, that big toad lightning at the end, um, that was literally last cast of the day. Um, uh, well, I made, I made my last cast, uh, we had seen that lightning swim by a couple times, but it didn't seem to be interested in much, uh, and didn't realize how big it was. We couldn't really see it that clearly. Uh, but, uh, literally as I, as I reeled it in, I saw a flash and that, that thing went by and it kind of swam out into the darkness. So I just kind of 
did a half-ass sidearm cast about five, ten feet in front of it, made a couple pumps, and uh, boom, I felt the hit, and that thing rose out of the water, and I couldn't believe that thing hit that jig after uh, swimming around us for that long, but it did. Uh, uh, so super happy with that. Uh, so that's my, my new PB out at the mud hole. It's the, the first fish I've caught uh, over all these years, over five pounds there. I've caught hundreds, if not thousands of trout there over the years. And I've been fishing there since the eighties and, uh, uh, but never, never seemed to get in any big ones. So, uh, so got that one real stoked and, uh, I was real, uh, real happy to get a big lightning. Finally, that was my first real big lightning. Uh, so it was, it was really, really cool to have that happen. So I was, I was real happy about that. So as always, if you want some of those uh, Golden State Fishing Custom Baits I use and have so much success with, I'll put the website right here. And if you enter in code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 10% off. Likewise, the RHA spoons I use all the time and have uh, a lot of success with, I'll put the website right here. And uh, the new code there is going to be Get Hooked, and you get 10% uh, off. That's Get Hooked, and you'll get 10% off at checkout. So please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you ever have questions or comments, uh, leave them here on the channel or hit me up on uh, my Instagram at Spanker Outdoors, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you uh, and give you a good answer. And uh, not sure where I'm going next. A uh, uh, lot of places out there are available to fish at, uh, but uh, we got a lot of rain and weather. So I heard Big Bear's doing real good right now. I went ahead up there, but the weather, uh, snow, and then you got to find a place to park if there's a lot of snow up there. Uh, it can get tricky. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to get up there. It's definitely on my radar, but uh, just kind of waiting to see uh, how the weather uh, uh, ends up, uh, whether or not I'll get up there. But uh, definitely going to head up to Hesperia soon uh, and, and the mud hole. And I'm anticipating uh, uh, Hemet opening back up soon. So uh, got those legs going. Oh, and Wolford too. Wolford's going to stock again. So, uh, so I'll be heading out there. So We'll see. Uh, I'll try and leave something out on my Instagram or uh, maybe a YouTube short and uh, tell you where I'm going to be next. So until next time, tight lines.